Hello and welcome back to another one of our um, Revit Architecture 2010 CAD clips on walkthroughs. In this lesson we're going to use this default installed training file and we have three views that are um, currently tiled and we are going to create a walkthrough that just quickly goes from the first floor up to the third floor by um, picking some points and setting some offsets or levels and picking points very quickly on the first floor and you can see that getting developed on the second floor I'm going to continue to switch my levels of my walkthrough working my way around you can see that and soon it will start to show up on the third floor and what we are going to demonstrate here is after we create this walkthrough now we're up on the third level and then we'll finish that walkthrough is how we can go to a 3D view and isolate that object and edit that kind of all by itself in a nice little 3D view so we can edit that as much as we want uh, by changing the path or adding in new um, keyframes or removing keyframes or whatever we want with the um, walkthrough here in our plan view because it went a little off track there I didn't pick enough points so if you want to refine your walkthrough path add some more keyframes now I'm finished editing the walkthrough and I can go to my view tab on my um, ribbon and click on my 3D view, my main default 3D view. I'll maximize that view and what I'm going to do here is what is really the big part of this lesson is I will um, uh, activate that um, walkthrough in this view by right clicking on the walkthrough view and saying show camera which uh, highlights it in my current view which is a 3D view and also selects it so I can go down and say um, isolate instance or isolate category and now I will see that walkthrough uh, path and all the little um, keyframes now I hit edit walkthrough and then I can access my editing walkthrough um, tools just like in any other view but now I have a nice clean kind of 3d view where I can change my target points by picking grips and I can um, change that by going to different keyframes and working my way back through I can drag that camera around okay and I can change that to say well I want to you know add some more keyframes so I can add keyframes inside of here I can again continue moving frame by frame I can edit the path and this is interesting because I can actually drag these keyframes vertically up and down and um, within that path which is kind of interesting so this is a really nice feature where if we go to the path controls we can add in um, keyframes and we can also take those using the path control and drag those either in plan or in 3d view so this probably takes a little bit of practice but it's a, a nice way of being able to edit that or refine that you can also again switch back to a camera active camera move your cut um, cutting plane your back cutting plane etc along there so now we can drag the camera itself and it'll snap to the uh, keyframes as you work your way around quite nicely and um, that works quite well and then once you get to the keyframe you want uh, for instance the first one and sometimes you have to don't don't stop right on the keyframe kind of stop a little bit beside it and it'll snap to it okay and now we can reset that back to our full model and uh, that's about it for the um, lesson on controlling our keyframes uh, and camera and path in a 3d view <laughs>